Megavana, my elven brothers and sisters, and welcome to another edition of the Elven Parables. Today we're going to be watching the parable of the stone cutters. It's an ancient parable and redone by an animation company uh, on YouTube called The Spirit Science. Uh, we wanted to say thank you for donating their animation for this parable. Uh, parable of the stone cutter. It's about accepting who you truly are and not letting the the mores of society or culture tell you who you should be or shouldn't be. One of the biggest things we notice within the elven culture today is the amount of negativity and sometimes downright hostility towards those that choose to honor their elven side, to choose to remember who they truly are. And in our view, it's to remember that we are a truly elven within ourselves, that our spirit, our soul is elven. And in this culture, that's not always an easy thing. There can be some significant persecution. They think you're crazy or whatever else. And so it's something we often have had to witness in our lives. So this little parable is about don't let society tell you what you should be and uh, that, that, that this is more important or that is more important. What is important is what you find within yourself, what you believe. Uh, is is at your heart and what makes you happy what path best best works for you and uh, that's something that we have to look within to find in ourselves uh, and a lot of people today choose not to walk their own path because they're afraid of uh, confrontation they're afraid of rejection in the end it all boils down to fear and as I say so often in so many of my videos there's only two choices that you can make out of each day, and that's whether you make a choice out of love or make it out of fear. Remember that you are not here to impress anyone. You are here to learn, to grow, to play. Um, while it's an old phrase that says we are the otters of the universe, we are to live and grow and play and truly enjoy this life. And the only way you can do that is to be yourself, to be who you truly are. And so this is a very simple little parable that talks about that. And um, I hope you enjoy it. And then we'll talk again here in just a moment. Thank you. Enjoy. There was once a stone cutter who was dissatisfied with himself and with his position in life. One day he passed a wealthy merchant's house and through the open gateway saw many fine possessions and important visitors. How powerful that merchant must be, thought the stone cutter. He became very envious and wished that he could be like the merchant. Then he would no longer have to live the life of a mere stone cutter. To his great surprise, he suddenly became the merchant, enjoying more luxuries and power than he had ever dreamed of, envied and detested by those less wealthy than himself. But soon, a high official passed by, carried in a sedan chair accompanied by attendants and escorted by soldiers beating gongs. Everyone, no matter how wealthy, had to bow low before the procession. How powerful that official is, he thought. I wish that I could be a high official. Then he became the high official, carried everywhere in his embroidered sedan chair, feared and hated by the people all around who had to bow down before him as he passed. It was a hot summer day, and the official felt very uncomfortable in the sticky sedan chair. He looked up at the sun. It shone proudly in the sky, unaffected by his presence. How powerful the sun is, he thought. I wish that I could be the sun. Then he became the sun, shining fiercely down on everyone, scorching the fields, cursed by the farmers and laborers. But a huge black cloud moved between him and the earth so that his light could no longer shine on everything below. How powerful that storm cloud is, he thought. I wish I could be a cloud. Then he became that cloud, flooding the fields and villages shouted at by everyone. But soon, he found that he was being pushed away by some great force and realized it was the wind. How powerful it is, he thought. I wish I could be the wind. Then he became the wind, blowing tiles off the roofs of houses, uprooting trees, hated and feared by all below him. But after a while, he ran up against something that would not move, no matter how forcefully he blew against it. A huge, towering stone. How powerful that stone is, he thought. I wish I could be a stone. Then he became the stone more powerful than anything else on earth. But as he stood there, he heard the sound of a hammer pounding a chisel into solid rock and felt himself being changed. What could be more powerful than I, the stone, he thought. He looked down and saw far below him the figure of a stone cutter. 
I think the message of this parable is that you are already perfect in a state of perfection. No matter how great, famous, wealthy or powerful you seek to become, you are already everything you need yourself to be right now. Who are you going to be five seconds from now? That choice is completely up to you. The key is becoming aware of your own divinity and knowing what you want to do with it. Namaste. Namaste. All right, well, there you go. It, it's actually one of my favorite little parables. And um, as you can see, by the time this individual was done, they had gone right back to who they were and that's what made them happiest. If you find that you are elven, be elven. Don't let anyone tell you whatever, if it's fey, whatever it may be, but the end all be all is this is your life. It's your life to live. It is a gift given to you. You live it the way that it feels right for you. Don't let anybody else tell you how to live. All right? So all of you have a most blessed rest of the day. Namaste.